and back on over from Azerbaijan. And this young lady here, what a shock that she is in this position. Well, a huge shock. Double Olympic champion coming into this Olympic Games, and she was got odds on favourite really to defend that title. She's the one with all the calibre and got knocked out simply to a better fighter in the quarter finals. As can happen. Has to put that out of her mind now because Patamat Agbakarova, the 21 year old from Azerbaijan. This is her biggest occasion ever, and what a competitor to go against here. There's the tail of the tape. It was Bogdanovic from Serbia. It was a tremendous quarter final win. And she's, of course, the young Serb now in the final, but this one. The tail for Patimat Akbakarova, also losing to Bogdanovic. That's why she is in this repechage. You lose to a finalist, you get one more chance to fight for bronze. But what a fight this is going to be. Wu Yu comes in as the favourite and now has to reassess and have a better game plan. That's a difficult mindset to approach. You know, her Olympic dreams have been dashed and the disappointment that she would have faced a short while ago, she's had to overcome that and recompose. Well, that composure will be crucial. As Wu Jingyu steps onto the mat. Bakarova from Azerbaijan. She is in red. Sensors are in the helmets of the fighters, along with the body protectors. And if they measure up to the sensor socks that are on their feet, funnily enough, with a good enough power and good enough impact, it will be a point. Bakarova tries to get into an aggressive start. Nice little front leg kick response there from Wu Jingyu. And the feet are flying already. Yeah, we've got a few turning kicks coming in from uh, Bakarova. Attempting to make contact, nearly did a second ago, but not quite enough power. And the referee separating them. The referee conducts the whole match in the Korean language. So Kalio means to stop, Sijak means to start. And they have started quickly here, nothing on the scoreboard yet. Back kick attempt there from Wu Jing Yu. She thought she'd had that. She thought she'd registered the points, but clearly not. Tries a little headshot there as well. And you'll hear them shouting and screaming as they do their kicks. That's the adrenaline, that's them trying to psych out their opponent. Bakarova would have uh, thought her chances of an Olympic medal were gone, having been knocked out in the first round, but this is a second lease of life, and she's coming out here very feisty. Absolutely. Feisty and on the front foot, just takes a front leg there from Wu Jingyu, the Chinese fighter in the white dobok with the yellow trousers, a new splash of colour. You can make up your own minds about that, as Wu Jingyu makes up her mind to go forward with the front leg. Tries to keep the Aziri Abakarova on the back foot. <laughs> Tries with a chop kick and the front leg. And this is going to be the first deduction of Kyongo. Two of those against you for not fighting. Will be a point added to the opponent. Bakarova trying to move, trying to confuse Wu Jingyu. Been a slow and steady start. And the longer this goes for Bakarova at 0 0, the more confident she's going to feel. Yes, absolutely. Going head to head with a double Olympic champion, Wu Jingyu. I mean, you've got to fancy your chances. If you're able to hold her off for one round, why not be able to do the same for, for, for another round and even pop in a, a couple of points here and there? This is very open and it's not the Wu Jingyu we expected to see. Absolutely, that's testament to Akbakarova. But Wu Jingyu, confidence beginning to rise. A couple of attempted spinning kicks. Of course, they are the extra value kicks. That not making contact, the arm is used to block. She looks steadfast here, Wu Jingyu. She's going to have to concentrate. Both very evenly matched in the height department, only a couple of centimetres in it, in favour of Wu Jingyu. Nothing in favour on the scoreboard. 
this one, the second round of this opening repechage. Women's under 49 kilogram contest. Wu Jing Yu of China. She's in blue. Fatima Abakarova. Right, you can guess what colour she is in. The opponent trying to get her foot up quickly. The sensors are on the bottom of the socks and also on the instep. So you need to hit with good power and impact. Oh, nice attempt with a chop kick to the head there from Wu Jingyu. Didn't quite make contact though. So difficult to find a space. Wu Jingyu just controlling the distance, using her hands to ward off Akbakarova. A real battle for distance here. Footwork first, attempted chop kick there from the Aziri. And a real stalemate. Karaoke Arena. Hushed in silence. Can they lift the volume? Can they lift the scoreboard here? Timing so important. Control of distance here. Back kick attempt there from Wu Jing Yu. Read the intentions of the Aziri. The timing so important. Well, that was close again. Just not quite making contact with the sensors. It's only a matter of time, I think, before we get a score here. Claiming the fist, claiming a punch to the body, but again, didn't register. Nice blocking from Wu. Jing Yu. Little headshot attempt here, back kick there, missing, but the body shot from Wu Jing Yu scores, gets the power, gets the score, and Wu Jing Yu, well, she's going to end this second round. One point to the good. KG opening though, not much to choose between the two. It's almost like they're both holding back a little. The trouble is with going in, you open up to Yes, walking on to a kick. Absolutely, no one wants to do that. Zhang Zhai, the Chinese coach, is slightly the happier. Reza Mohammed, not so much. Look at the flexibility here from both fine female fighters. Just cancelling each other out at the moment. That one nearly got through. Abakarova just using the hands to fend off and reduce the power, reduce the impact onto the pad so it doesn't register. Well, here we go, the third and potentially final round here, the repechage. Women's under 49 kilogram Wu Jing Yu of China. Patamat Abakarova, her opponent from Azerbaijan. Attempted headshot straight away from Wu Jing Yu. Tries to flick it upstairs. A back kick attempt again. They can't take their eyes off each other for a second. An Olympic medal hopes at stake here. Good attempted oh, headshot nice. there from Wu Jing Yu. Very close, just flicking past the face there. It hit the head guard, but not with enough force to register. Back leg attempt there from Agbakarova. This one beginning to heat up now, a fight brewing in Rio. Oh, great blocking, great defensive work from Agbakarova. Determined not to let Wu Jing Yu through. That determination paying off the double chalk pick attempt, just blocked resolutely. Good back kick there from Agbakarova, but both female fighters finding it hard to score here. And of course, we've got the men's division, the male fighters on their way as well in the 58s, but it's all eyes on this one. Push kick attempt there from Agbakarova. Excellent control of distance there from Wu Jing Yu. Just like she looked as if she was in trouble. She 
He pulls it back, 20 seconds left now. Rujan Yu goes for the big headshot, leaves a gap underneath. Oh, the scores are tied, 1-0. Now it's getting feisty, 2-1. Having a real fight here, Rujan Yu scores one to the body but concedes one to the head there with five seconds left in this one. Patama at Bakarova. Can she sustain this? Two points to the good, one point because of the Kyongo. It's all flying here. Will she fly off the side? Well, she is going to continue. Rujan Yu is out. The medal chance is gone. Patama at Bakarova closes the door. And what a wonderful performance there, and it all exploded in one second. Well, it just shows you cannot lose your concentration for any amount of time. Your double Olympic champion is now out. No chance of a medal, and that's a big, big shot. Backer over took her opportunity. And is back in the competition. Confirmation there, Patima Backer over. She marches on into the bronze medal competition. That's how she did it. Found the shot, had the confidence, takes the win. Nice smile there and a wonderful result. The shock waves around the arena. Wu Jing Yu, double Olympic champion, is out. Patama Akbakarova, she marches on. Well, the action will continue.